Get unlimited access to all of our CPE courses at www.teachucomp.com forward slash unlimited CPE. In this lesson, we will look at a few more types of employee compensation. Let's begin by looking at a situation where an employee is compensated with property. Property may be considered employee pay if the property is transferred to an employee as payment in exchange for services performed. The amount that may be deducted is the fair market value of the property. If a piece of property is subject to restrictions that affect its value, it is not deductible. Sick pay is payment given to employees for sickness or injury. Sick pay is deductible provided that it is not covered by insurance. If an employer has insurance which covers sick pay for employees, only the amount not covered by insurance is deductible. For example, let's say that Jane's employee Julie broke her leg in August. Julie had surgery and missed 20 days of work. Jane's insurance company covers 15 days of sick pay per employee per year. So Jane had to pay the total of five non-covered work days out of her company's account. Those five days worth of sick pay that Jane had to pay is deductible as a business expense. Vacation pay as an employee benefit is also deductible. However, it must be deducted in the year in which the employee actually received the benefit, regardless of whether an employer uses accrual or cash-based accounting. Like what you see? Get unlimited access to all of our CPE courses at www.teachucomp.com forward slash unlimited CPE.